It's been a long time coming, but Lufthansa has officially finalised a deal with ITA Airways that'll see them take on a minority stake in the newly founded Italian carrier. Let me know your immediate thoughts down below, because people are definitely split on such a call by Lufthansa to invest in the airline, especially off the back of what happened to Alitalia. As you may recall, Alitalia was the long-standing national carrier of Italy. However, in the past decade, and you could argue for quite some time, it had definitely struggled to reel in profits and operate efficiently. As such, it collapsed and seemingly the next day, the birth of ITA Airways took place. And the same question marks around the fate of Alitalia have definitely followed on with ITA Airways. But after much deliberation, Lufthansa has closed that deal that'll see them take a 41% stake, so that being a minority, in the company. It's actually a decision that comes following Lufthansa outlining their intent on multiple occasions that they want to strengthen their presence in Italy. And according to many analysts and much more, it has been a region that typically the German flag carrier and also wider Lufthansa Group Airlines have generally struggled to say present themselves in and succeed. Therefore, moving ahead with an acquisition of a minority stake in ITA Airways should potentially see them have a firmer grip on the market. At least this is what they believe. They see them using their network capabilities and overall understanding of the industry to transform ITA into a European powerhouse and a fantastic asset of theirs. And for ITA, well, they believe acquiring a minority stake will lead them to see many benefits themselves and maybe have a more prolonged stay within our industry. Discussions over who would take on the Italian airline have actually been long running. If you've been following the channel closely or just generally the industry and the news that comes from it, you'll recall that on numerous occasions other parties expressed their own interest in the Italian carrier. That included the likes of the Air France KLM Group, EasyJet and the Lufthansa Group. At the end of the day, Lufthansa Group were the ones that won the race with that 41% stake. As with all industry decisions, there are going to be critics, complaints, and positive news from it. The critics believe that the airline will incur a similar fate to Alitalia's, and that's something that can't really be stopped, and believe that an investment decision by Lufthansa is incredibly poor on their part. Some, though, feel a Lufthansa acquisition is just what ITA needs to strengthen itself within the industry, and the collaboration between the pair makes sense. Where do you lie, though? Now, once the deal is formally closed, Lufthansa says they'll appoint a chief executive at the airline and also help jointly manage its operations. These steps are due to Lufthansa outlining pretty publicly their intent to eventually also own a majority stake in the airline. So, just to recap, for now, it'll be a 41% minority stake, and they'll actually look to invest US $358 million of capital into the airline as well. And later down the line, probably in the coming years, if this investment pays off, they would look to make it a majority stake and really take ITA Airways under their wing, which, yes, they're already doing, but to a larger scale and introduce it into the Lufthansa Group formally. So again, any thoughts, you can drop them down below in the comments, but obviously a big move and for many people a sigh of relief that it has finally been agreed after many, many months of headlines and deliberation, it seems that it is finally there. And again, this is all subject to final approval, but you'd like to think that they'll be able to sort that out pretty efficiently and swiftly. Thanks for watching, take care and be safe, and I'll see you next time. And we'll fly